Hi guys, tonight we're gonna make a caprese salad. Now we've all had caprese salads, right? But we're going to kind of mix it up and make it our own and make it even yummier than it normally is. Um, we're gonna add bacon and we're also going to add toasted pine nuts. So it's gonna be really, really yummy and almost like a meal, you know, not like an appetizer or a starter. So let's get started. Caprese salad, we've got our nice serving dish right here. Let's put that in front of us. I've got some gorgeous um, heirloom tomatoes, baby heirloom tomatoes, and they're different colors. They're um, red, yellow, and orange. I have some fresh mozzarella right here. We're going to tear that up ourselves and break that up over the salad, and it's gonna be awesome. I love, love fresh mozzarella. I have this beautiful basil here, and it smells so good, it reminds me of summer. I make this salad a lot in the summer, not a lot in the winter, but now that I'm adding bacon and pine nuts, it feels more like a winter salad. And we'll put it on some arugula, some baby arugula. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're going to need to, you know what, let's, let's start by finishing, I already started this, cutting our tomatoes in half. I love these little tomatoes because they're sweet. Um, all year round. And I have a thing about tomatoes. I probably have never spoken about this on my channel, but I have a thing about um, what I call ice box tomatoes. I hate, all right, hate is a strong word. I really don't like it when I order a caprese salad or any salad actually that has tomatoes on it and the tomatoes are ice cold. I hate that. It, I don't like that because I feel like when you refrigerate tomatoes, it really takes away their flavor, their sweetness, um, and then the texture's off. I just don't like it. I call them ice box, ice box tomatoes. And whenever I go out to eat and I get tomatoes like that, I go, oh man, ice box tomatoes. Very picky about my tomatoes, obviously. Okay, so let's get some arugula. I have some baby arugula down on our um, serving platter. I'll bring that up as soon as we get the um, tomatoes on. And we want to be, when you're making a fresh salad, you wanna be very, it's not about just throwing ingredients together. It's kind of about layering ingredients and then um, seasoning each layer. So I have my baby arugula here and I'm going to season that up with some olive oil salt and pepper and pepper I love pepper you know I love pepper I use a lot of it on this channel my dog Sky was over here and she's like begging me for food right before I started pressed play she was howling at me okay so we've got that going Let's get our tomatoes on, our beautiful tomatoes. I love these tomatoes, they look so pretty and I had one earlier, I just popped it in my mouth and oh, they're so sweet and yummy. And they're perfect for the winter time. Normally in the summertime I make this with um, big heirloom tomatoes, it's sliced, nice, oh, this little olive oil, salt and pepper on them. I could eat them just like that. <sighs> my hair is like in my face, okay. So let's get the rest of these. Yummy. Let's season those up just a tad. Just a little bit with kosher salt. Okay, we've got some basil here. I like a lot of basil in here. And a lot of times what I'll do is make a pesto, which is super easy in your food processor, but I'm and, and then drizzle it over the top. But I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna keep the basil as is, and I'm just gonna kinda tear it in here and then we'll put more on the top to garnish as well and then I have our fresh mozzarella I got in here the other day to make a, a um, meatball sub I took some of this out all right so let's get a good chunk of this here and I like to tear it I like food that looks rustic and um not fussed over. I mean, I like the fussed over food too, don't get me wrong, but this is my style. I'm a home cook and this is what I do. This is how I like to go, especially since, you know, I'm usually making dinner or food in a rush. 
or not in a rush, but I don't have time to fawn, to fawn all over it. All right, we need some pine nuts. I love pine nuts. They're hard to explain there. They have a very toasty, fatty flavor, especially since I toasted them. I always get them home from the market and then I toast them myself and I toast the whole batch so that I don't have to keep doing it every single time I need it. So we'll put some pine nuts over the top. And we can't forget our bacon. I have some crispy bacon that I toast, that I um, cooked earlier in the oven on a sheet pan, 375 degrees. Takes about 10 to 15 minutes. And we're gonna crumble that over the top. Hi, cutie. You could just leave that over there, sweetie. I think this is my LOL. Okay, but, but um, just, it's your LOL? Yeah, can I just get in there? Yeah, I think, get the scissors. They were right in the um, drawer over there. <laughs> Working from home. My little daughter. Love you. Love you too. She got her LOL doll today. She ordered an LOL doll. Okay, so we've got our, we're doing kind of pretty big chunks. When I do a salad, I like to kind of keep things in a, you know, size where you don't need a knife unless it's a true knife and fork salad like an like a wedge salad okay so this is what it looks like right now we're just going to give it kind of like a my hands are clean i promise my hands are always clean um just kind of mix it up with our hands a little bit just to get it looking all different pieces of everything everywhere i left these little pieces out because they're just pieces of of fat. I love bacon. I love bacon. Okay. So that looks nice. Let me put a piece of mozzarella over there. I'm going to give it a little more basil just because I love basil. And basil obviously goes amazing in this salad. You can't have your caprese salad without basil. All right. So that looks good. Let's give it a little drizzle of olive oil. Good extra virgin olive oil. Pepper. Not only do I love the way pepper tastes, I love the way it looks. Salt. Kosher salt. And good balsamic vinegar. I like to like put a few drops of good balsamic vinegar over the top. Not too much, like be careful with it. But it, it goes really well with this too. And gives it your acidic punch. And this is like perfect for a crowd. It's not vegetarian. Obviously, if you have vegetarians coming over, leave the bacon out. Um, but this is perfect for a crowd and it's different too. It's, it's different on your caprese. It has all the flavors of a caprese, but it has the bacon and the pine nuts. So that's it. Okay guys, I am going to try this salad. I know that you like it when I try the food um, and I totally understand that. Um, so let me try this. All right, I'm gonna get a piece of everything. Tomato, mozzarella, basil, piece of arugula, couple pine nuts stuck to there and then a piece of bacon. Mm. Tastes exactly the way you think it would taste. Bacon, fresh mozzarella, basil, arugula, pine nuts, and then these delicious tomatoes. Mmm. And bacon. Mmm. And the balsamic vinegar adds like, you need it. It adds like a, an acidity and also, and also a tiny sweetness. 
but it's good. Try it.